Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome back to Traveling with Kristen where we travel the world and life in the digital nomad lifestyle. And today I'm coming to you from the beautiful little mountain town of Bansko, Bulgaria. And I'm here standing out in the wind and a little bit of rain to tell you about some of the main ways that you can become a digital nomad and some of the top jobs and main categories of digital nomad jobs that could work for you. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video for a bonus round of some of the weirdest digital nomad jobs out there. So what the heck is a digital nomad? Obviously, we have to answer that first. So a digital nomad is loosely defined as somebody who can do their job from anywhere and typically in a digital capacity or using digital tools. When I first heard about digital nomads, it was 2013 and I was running a business online, but I didn't necessarily consider myself a digital nomad because I didn't know what it was. And then when I did find out what it was, I thought it was just maybe computer programmers, freelancers or graphic designers, things like that, that work online. I didn't know that I was one. A lot of people have the misconception that the only types of digital nomad jobs they can do are very technical jobs. And they think like, oh, I wish I could be a digital nomad, but first I have to learn how to be a programmer. And that's not the case. So I'll tell you about a couple main categories of jobs. Some you may have thought of, some maybe not to get you thinking about what you can do to become a digital nomad. So let's start with the most obvious, and these are the technical jobs. So typically, um, these are jobs that are really good for freelancers and then also in certain company departments. So this is anything with a technical aspect from uh, accounting to graphic design, programming, tech support, um, trading, any sort of of technical job that you need a skill or a certification for. And again, this can be done in an employee capacity for a company, or it can be done on your own terms, either just with your own business or as a freelancer. Another one of the really popular jobs is consulting and coaching. That's something that you typically only need an internet connection to do, and you can do it from anywhere. Coaching and consulting clients can find you online, and you don't need a specific office to be able to do your job. You can either travel to the client or you can do everything remotely over Skype and Zoom and other types of um, technologies that we have at our disposal today. Another popular job category is like a passive revenue type of job. So the people who are attracted to this just kind of want to set it and forget it. They want to maybe work really hard to establish some passive revenue streams and then just kick back and relax. Hey, to each their own, right? So uh, some examples of passive revenue jobs could be um, affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or stores like Amazon stores, things like that. Another super popular digital nomad job is writing and blogging. Now I kind of lump these together even though they're not necessarily the same thing. So as a writer, you can work in a freelance capacity. You can be a syndicated writer. You can write books. You can write articles. You can also write blogs. <laughs> so being a blogger isn't necessarily a job in itself unless you're monetizing it. And I actually have another video completely about blogging and um, how to make money as a blogger and also the worst jobs for digital nomads of which blogger is on my list. So if you want to check those videos out, look at the links in the descri description below. Um, but writing and blogging, I mean, travel bloggers, you can blog about cooking, you could blog about anything. And as long as you're making money, you're basically a digital nomad. You can write and blog from anywhere. If you aren't interested in working for yourself and you just want to get a salary but be able to work from home and work remotely, then being a remote employee of any type is also a job category. So any job that you can do in a regular brick and mortar company, you can probably find an equivalent for a remote company. So I'll link to a list of some fully remote companies below, um, but customer service, marketing, operations, project management, logistics, managerial positions, uh, design, tech jobs, like any functional area of business, 
you can find a job in a remote company and be able to work from anywhere without having to worry about running your own business and kind of wearing every hat and being an entrepreneur. So a lot of people just really wanna keep the stability and security of their day job. They just wanna be able to do it from home or anywhere and that's totally fine as well. So as long as you work for a company that lets you do the same job you're doing now but from anywhere, boom, you're set, you're a digital nomad all of a sudden. I also wanna talk about some more uh, solopreneur, uh, traditional types of jobs that you can do from anywhere that don't get as much exposure, I would say, in the digital nomad world. So these are very old school types of jobs. Anything from being a, uh, let's say, a nutritionist or a personal trainer or a yoga teacher, a translator, and any, anything else, like anything that you can teach or do with an individual client online or in person, you can probably do as a digital nomad. So if you're a yoga teacher and you typically teach classes um, in a yoga studio, you can teach your classes over Skype or some other type of app. Um, you can create a personality and a, like a youpreneur a personal brand on social media and make money that way. So you can do all sorts of things. You can do teacher trainings and that basically makes you a digital nomad if you can do your job from anywhere. You can take a traditional job, personal trainer, working at a gym. You can do that job at a gym in Costa Rica. You can do it in New York. You can do it anywhere, anywhere in the world as well as seasonal jobs. So most people don't think of seasonal jobs as being a digital nomad. But if you're a dive instructor or a ski instructor or a surf instructor or anything like that, you can basically do your job from anywhere. So you can work seasonally a few months a year in different countries and you can get your clients through the internet as well. That makes you a digital nomad. Another category that's not talked about very often are academic and research jobs. So if you're a scientist, if you are a professor, um, if you're a PhD student, if you get money from grants, any sort of capacity like that, maybe you're just on sabbatical doing a research project, maybe you're privately funded by corporate research, um, maybe you're a lobbyist, who knows? <laughs> if you're doing any sort of research that can basically be done anywhere, you can also be a digital nomad. Or if you're doing a project that's specific to a certain geographic region, you can go there temporarily to do your work and then come back home. So in my travels, I've actually met a ton of uh, professors and teachers and people on sabbatical who are traveling around the world, writing and doing research. And this is also a really cool digital nomad job that you could also have at home, but you can go um, guest teach at another university in another city, state, or country, or you can just get a, a grant and go work for yourself from anywhere. And the last but not least category of digital nomad jobs is being an online personality. So let's say an online influencer, brand ambassador. This could be on a certain type of social media profile or really anywhere. So anyone who makes money just being them <laughs> Um, maybe promoting brands and having sponsors and traffic to their sites or, or views on their videos. Anything like that is another way of being a digital nomad. Okay, so you've made it to the bonus round. And these are some of the weirdest digital nomad jobs that you might not have heard about before. So one is actually being a professional gamer. So you can play video games, poker, um, bet on sports or just stream yourself playing games on a website like Twitch. That is a super cool digital nomad job that didn't exist many years ago. It used to be only the top, top video gamers who would get sent to like Korea or something to play games, but now you can do it from anywhere. To take an example from a really interesting online influencer, I follow a girl on Instagram who makes a living doing still lifes, so still life photography, and other artwork. So if you're an artist, I mean, you can obviously paint from anywhere or take photos anywhere, but um, this is a really interesting combination of being an online influencer and an artist and also a brand ambassador. So getting paid to travel, getting paid 
um, to, she creates a line of clothing. She sells her photos and paintings and just is basically um, a multifaceted entrepreneur. It's basically creating your own job. And the weirdest digital nomad job I've heard of lately is a girl who designs avatars for video games. So all she did was set up an online store and she's created hundreds of avatars for different video games and people just buy the avatar on her website and it's completely passive income. And that is in, where did I meet her? That was in Cyprus. So you can, if you just use your imagination and combine different skills and passions, you can create your own digital nomad job that doesn't fit into any category or if it's in multiple categories. I hope that you guys liked this video and did I miss any major categories? What is your digital nomad job? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more helpful digital nomad tip videos and destination videos here on Traveling with Kristen. See you soon.